Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jan from InSales Academy. In today's video, we're gonna try out Woodpecker. I'm gonna show you the tool. Um, I wanted to do Outreach.io and Sandbloom and all these tools, but you can only request a demo, so... But Woodpecker is cool. Let's watch it. Is it good for you? I don't know. We'll see. Code Outreach. Jan is here. Cool. So we go to Woodpecker website. Now, I use Woodpecker. We use Woodpecker in my company. Uh, they have a special panel for agencies like I am. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the tool. I am an affiliate, so just be careful. <laughs> but I'm just gonna be unbiased as I can. It's, the Woodpecker is a company, they have about 30 employees from Poland. So it's an Eastern European company. You can actually sign up just like that. So I just wanna do my first name for 30 days. Sign up for 30 days, man. 30 day trial, we haven't seen this in Reply.io, in Mailshake at all, and in the other two Mixmax, uh, I think it was 14 days. So this is kind of cool, 30 days Woodpecker, this is really a, a good, so I'm just saying it's pretty good and you don't need credit cards, you, no credit card required, so uh, I think these guys are really in competition with Mailshake uh, price wise, uh, but they have very different strategies. So let's just do Jan, company name in sales, academy and business email. Uh, I don't know if I can connect my generic because I actually am using it on my own. So I just wanna walk you through. We are there, almost then. And we got it. We have gotten an email. Confirm, you just click on the link, it's activated. And now it's good, log in. So we're gonna log in and we're gonna use this password and we are inside. Nice. Now, this is what I like about Mailshake, Woodpecker, Reply.io, all these tools. And some of them don't have this content. Woodpecker has so much content. Now, the content that Mailshake has is probably better um, because they have a lot of video content. Woodpecker doesn't. Woodpecker has a, some video content. They have a lot of blogs. And I really like to read the blogs because they go really in depth on logistical stuff when it comes to cold email. Because the tool is only for cold email mostly. Um, the other tools are sometimes for cold email, sometimes for something else. So it's really uh, up to you. There's a five minute quick start guide, which we're gonna skip, but you can, uh, you can watch it. Uh, so basically here's how it is. It always shows you your trial ends in 30 days. And now what you do in the beginning, uh, you basically create a campaign. You just go straight to the, to the bottom. <laughs> this is your dashboard. So we're gonna create a name called example. And again, you have to connect your email here. So now it's gonna do the thing where you connect your Google account, which of course the, so now we're gonna wait for like 20 or 30 seconds. It's gonna connect an account. To be honest, Woodpecker's dashboard is a bit weird to me. It always have been weird to me. Why is it so, not, not really ugly, but when you look at reply.io or Mailshake, there, uh, the whole thing is that there's the menu on the left side and then there's your thing and you go by the menu on the left side and this is like all of these tools have the same thing and Woodpecker has a menu on the up, upper thing like you can see uh, here's you set up your signature straight away so I'm just gonna say, say Jan Kertusek I'm just gonna do this uh, and we're just gonna save it you can actually say from so who is it from? You can say Jan from InSales Academy or Jan at InSales, Jan Kartusek, which is a more formal B2B email. Uh, but basically, yeah, so here's your menu, right? Which is so weird. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it's just my opinion um, that it should be on the left side and it's much better. But I mean, the way it developed it probably is different. So content, uh, they give you some advice here. So you can just say subject line is nasty. And now you have your fields. This is so cool because it's so easy. You can just say uh, anything, you know, anything. And basically first name, last name is clear, but they have these snippets. So snippet one, snippet two, snippet three, snippet four. And these are the custom things. That's why I love Woodpecker because we have custom lines. We have custom first paragraphs, first opening lines. And that custom paragraph will be, for example, I have here three leads. Let's just say custom comment. Okay, so custom comment is you're ugly or something like that. You're ugly, go home, uh, home. Okay, so I have three custom comments. 
Okay, I'm just gonna download this as CSV and load it up to the Woodpecker. So here, here's where you create an email. I'm gonna connect snippet one with those custom comments. Now I want, this is what I love about Woodpecker. I told you what I don't like, but I, this is what I like. You can set up email sending. Woodpecker is the only tool I think that actually mimics human behavior when they are sending emails. So it sends out email like, Every 30 seconds, every one minute, every two minutes, you can set it up exactly. Mailshake, for example, it sends like five emails in a second, five emails in a second. And this can really make some, um, uh, this can really create the trouble. So it's Sunday and let's say we will send an email at 6.40 p.m., 45 p.m. And we want to end the sequence at 7.00 you can set up in settings how how many emails do you want woodpecker to be sending in one hour sometimes it's crazy if you set it up crazy it's gonna send like 200 emails in one hour you can actually send also daily limits but if you tell woodpecker only send 10 emails please in one hour which is enough sometimes it's gonna spread it out nicely so this is a cool cool thing and i like to control my time what i also like is the time zone it actually tells you where are you in Euro Prague? If we're reaching out to Americans, I can set it up 6 a.m. US Eastern time. I don't have to calculate in my head. I just set it up and I'll load the prospects from the US Eastern time. Easy peasy. Now, basically how you create a follow-up, you just add an email here. And this is the follow-up. You can continue with this subject line or you can actually change it like mother or something like that, right? And you go on and you can set it up again and say to Woodpecker, hey, don't follow up sooner than, than two days, right? Because some people, they load 500 prospects into Woodpecker, which is not what we recommend. I recommend sending 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 20, 20, because we want to split test. But if you do that, then you already know that you're probably going to send an email in three days. You don't really need this feature, but it's pretty cool if you have more people. And the same thing, and you can actually ask, send in the same thread or not? and then send test email, whatever. So this is how you set up your sequences and then you add prospects, you import, and you just go here and you import it. It was this one, CSV. Now you can say that you wanna ignore the new entry and keep the existing contact intact, or you can update the contact. So for example, if you load contacts into Woodpecker and you do a campaign, and in two months, you want to do a campaign again for them, but they are already in Woodpecker. So it's going to basically, the software is going to say, hey, they already received an email. You can actually say, uh, you can actually have a new CSV with the same company, same person, just update some fields and tell Woodpecker, no, this is a new thing. I want to say, this is a new campaign, right? Pretty intuitive. Now you match fields, of course. So this is the none. So now you have to go to snippet one and custom comment. You can say ignore the first row, which is usually you're just saying like email name uh, company, right? So ignore the first row always and just import it. Now it's going to import the delete. It's going to say three imported. It's going to look into duplicates and it's going to find some errors in the, in the file, which is so cool. Then you can look at the details. This is so cool. If you can actually have a status of your elite, so you can say, Oh, this guy actually replied. Sometimes, you know, there uh, it doesn't catch it. So, sometimes you can mark it as blacklist, invalid, anything like that. So this is very important. Uh, once you have this, you can preview your email and you can see it, it filled up your ugly to each uh, snippet one. And it, it actually tells you snippet two is not matched to the correct field, right? So this is how you can see it. And if you, you know, click on preview every time, it's pretty cool. So you just add these prospects. Nice. It says nice. Now they are here. You have this. You have it set up. Uh, I have snippet too. I'll just leave it there. And then you say from which email are you sending it? So it's this email. And you are good to go. You can send a test email or not. And you can save it as draft or just send it. What does it say? Looks like you forgot about the most important thing, the message. Oh, okay. So you see, it's so cool. It gives you... Uh, these these intelligent things which I like and now you can see the sort of dashboard of the campaign you have three prospects how many opened how many replied and you can then click here and it's gonna show you how many replied how many opened how when did they open the email 
how many email or how many times did they open it they don't have the feature where somebody becomes a lead after five times like mailshake which i don't which i would really appreciate there's different things that mailshake does, does better they don't have templates you can use which i don't like as well because in outbound sales if you have a template that works uh you can you don't have to keep them out uh, in a different files right somewhere else uh so i think that's something they should look into um, and otherwise it's pretty cool now you go to your main dashboard you can see this campaign you can actually stop it you can run it whatever you want to do uh, or you can copy the same campaign you can then filter it by status you know so you want to look at all the campaigns that are running i mean this is not something great for me but it's pretty cool that you can send 500 emails in 30 days but i want to show you the prospects so here's here are those three prospects that we just loaded they will be here forever so sometimes there will be a mistake where say an email is gonna bounce okay and you know that this company is the right company it's just the, per the person doesn't work there you can't really fix this in the campaign what you can do is you're gonna go to prospects and you can just say I'm gonna send an email to my colleague in sales academy.co so we just changed an email and it says active we go here and if we look at the prospects it says Anna right uh, but it would say bounced if the first email was wrong right so you it would still say bounced even though I changed the email in the prospects you will have to go here and say active this is the thing that uh, is kind of problematic because you have to go back and forth it's just one little thing so you have your prospects here um, you go you know you can filter by contact and all this pretty cool and then what you have you have your inbox so here if the, if I get a response I don't have to log into the uh, to Gmail or anything like that I can just stay in Woodpecker all day long and check out my responses and what's cool you can actually if somebody responds you can mark them as interested not interested and they have these smiley faces whatever where they give you these emojis and that's really cool that's what I like now here what I, here's what I wanted to show you is the email accounts you have to go here and then here now here's where you set up your signature and this is when you where you set up your sending so this is how many emails per day in which frequencies uh, you know and all this you can block all the domains you don't want to touch if you have a customers in a specific niche and you just list all their domains load them up here and woodpecker will block emails sent to them um, and you can freeze email account so say you you have done outbound sales for a month and you want to stop outbound sales and continue in January you don't have to pay them again for a month or you don't have to cancel your account and come back again you can just tell them hey can you freeze my account it's only five dollars per month they'll keep your account everything as you had if you want to just follow up on something and it's so cool nobody else does that so this is something we use as well the pricing and you can see their blog here but the pricing is $40 per seat and then $50 if you have a bigger team and enterprise I mean they had this uh, this $80 thing crossed off for a year so don't believe this probably but yeah enterprise is then different um, I mean I'm okay with just $40 you don't really need a $50 thing if you don't have a team so just stick with $40 and this is for the agency because that's what me this me we're technically a b2b legion agency and uh their blog is uh crazy their blog is crazy so read their blog as well so that's woodpecker i recommend woodpecker uh as i recommend mailshake as i recommend other tools i didn't recommend only one uh so woodpecker great if you're a solo guy if you have a team smaller team and so on even enterprise i don't know so Hopefully that helped you. Go to insalesacademy.com and subscribe to my newsletter and you will get a free cold email audit from me. That's what's gonna happen. And I'll see you next time with some other tool. Thank you and I'll see you.